it's time for the first adventure on Negros Island. Today I'm cycling up into the mountains to reach Mayana Peak. I'm gonna cycle as far as I can, then hike, and then set up camp atop Mayana Peak, hopefully for a beautiful sunset over the east coast of Negros. It's going to be a very steep day. Got more than 750 meters of elevation to gain in just 20 kilometers on the bike. I'm really excited for this adventure and I'm also stoked to show you some of the beautiful mountain views of Negros. So let's go. Thank you. How much that one? 10 pesos. This road is called the Eco Translink and it's definitely living up to its name. It's been surrounded by palm trees, forests, even some bamboo plantations the whole way. It's been really peaceful, really beautiful, and I can start to see those mountains where I'm gonna camp tonight. just one kilometer before the turn off to Mayana Peak. This last bit of hill has just been relentless. So I'm off the bike, pushing pretty low on energy, but almost there. So the bike portion of today's adventure is basically over. I've made it up to the trailhead of Mayana Peak and I've stopped in for lunch at a place called Jillers at the Peak. Beautiful view here. Okay, I'm now officially at the trailhead for Mayana Peak. There's the sign. It says 2.6 kilometers. It's a dirt road, so I'm going to try and ride up as far as I can. Take the bike with me all the way. Okay, made it to the entrance point of Mayana Peak. Small little uh, house here behind me. The entrance fee 150, then overnight fee 300 pesos, and then the guide fee, which is mandatory, another 150. So total 600 pesos to stay overnight, which is about uh, 12 US dollars, similar to my hotel back in San Carlos. So. Okay, we've arrived at the summit of Mayana Peak. It's just a 15 minute walk up the hill here, about 100 meters of incline. I'm gonna set up the tent because there's some storm clouds rolling through, but it's a beautiful spot. You can see all the way down to the coast where I've just come from in San Carlos City. You can see Sipaway Island, and you can see all of these beautiful rolling hills. So it's gonna be a great night up here. We'll see if we can catch a sunset or a sunrise, but I'm the only one up here, so. So these days I'm using an ultralight two-person Big Agnes Copper Spur tent. Uh, I like it because it has a little bit extra headroom with the pole going across and it's also super light so I've cycled up and hiked up with it to a lot of places. Clothes are drying out with a beautiful view. It's been threatening to rain all day but I think in the morning it should be clear and hopefully then I can get some great views of this amazing peak. That's the beauty of camping. You get the sunset and the sunrise 
you also get the peace and quiet when there's no visitors. So I'm enjoying my time up here, checking out all the different peaks on Negros, making a plan for what's next. Mayon Buntag Negros, good morning. It's 5 a.m. The storm clouds have disappeared. We're getting a beautiful sunrise. After a beautiful morning, it's time to head back down on this short little hike. I left my bike in the uh, village down there. The lady said not to lock it up, so uh, hopefully it's still there. I'm sure it will be. That's how things go out here in the more rural areas of the Philippines. Everybody's super friendly and everything is really safe. Oh. Uh -huh. 